Good rising everyone. Today is the 21 of January uh, around 10.30 a.m. and today I'm gonna go to Lumpani Park. I want to take some lovely drone footage there so I'm gonna take M with me and after this I'm gonna go to a place called Veganeria which is a fully vegan restaurant. It's inside some big uh, shopping center. Uh, yeah. It's like a one hour walk from the park, so I'll see if I'm gonna walk or if I'm gonna take some public transportation. Anyway, yeah, that's the plan for today, and I'll see you there. Recycled paper. Maybe it is recycled paper. It's a really chic fence. Okay, let's check the top floor. This one was the food court with all the restaurants. And top floor this looks like all kinds of women healthcare. The books. It's still in Christmas here, it's not the first Christmas tree I see. I see Christmas theme like almost in every tall store I go. Look at this cover you still. I like the way it's organized. Uh, the between I saw pretty. make a food popsicle mmm cuz nothing yummier than a food <laughs> and I'm guessing this one it's an ice cream yeah it's an upside down top ice cream that's what it is this is so cool you attach it to your water bottle and it's also a shower pair so kawaii how oh, they fool me apparently this place has another floor and another floor. This floor is another food court, it seems, and some jewelry. And I'm going to the top, I think. It's almost 11 a.m. and it seems not all of the stores are open yet. And I'm not sure when they actually open yet. This one mm, kind of looks like a gallery. And I told you another Christmas tree. So we're in a Christmas mood here all over the year. I think it's time for me to go down and continue to the park. Look how pretty the world presentation. It really reminds me of uh, Japan where they used to have uh, the presentation of all of the dishes like this made out of a uh, cream of or clay. I think all of those are egg dishes. But still it looks so cool. 
this is the bottom floor okay. where all the stand down. So we're out and we're gonna continue to Lompini Park. That's some cool mercantile. They have an astronaut and a girl with a lobster. Okay, so I can see the park now. It can give you some break from the really busy city. Funny, on one side they have this very traditional gate, and the other one this modern hippie like gate. Uh, I think that that's the, what you can say about Thailand. They have this uh, balance between traditional to really modern. So that's part of the things that define Thailand, at least from what I saw so far little shrines everywhere with like big modern malls and a lot of uh, modern stores so it's, they go hand in hand okay now I wanna find for some really empty good spot for my drone like with not too many trees or people so I can take some lovely videos with it oh here's the lake This is a lovely spot, so I think I'm gonna have here my late morning break. Oh, it's so cute! They have a tiny bench right here. It's like waiting for me. Except somebody really <laughs> put all of the mandarin trash on it, but it's okay. I still have some spot here. Oh, it's so pretty. See, that's what I meant. You can have this whole huge park and just behind it is big modern concrete city so for breakfast they have here this coconut filled bun and the rose apple so I'm gonna try the rose apple for the very first time look at this pretty shape okay so itadakimasu sour as I thought. It's not sweet either. They have quite a unique taste. I never tasted something like this before. Mm, really interesting. I like its crunchiness. Yeah, really crunchy. Remind me more of a bear than an apple. So here they have all those swan boats. I guess if somebody wants to get to a swan boat ride, we don't see any dark swan. Natalie Portman will be disappointed. Where is the black swan? Oh, garbage can. Yay. Mm, not sure which is which. Plastic, plastic. They're all for battles. Look at this, all across the world and I can still see a main up. This is my lucky charm board, so I know I'm in the right direction. This is so cool. It's kind of like they build a small cascade for the tree, which make it into a bridge. I love the weather here, so nice. So right there, there might be a good spot to fly my drone. Yeah, this seems like a really lovely spot, uh, open area, and I have some flat ground to actually place my drone on. Oh, I can do it right there from this stage. What say you? Oh, I don't know. I think the stage also seems nice and a bit more shadow area there. Let's go to this stage. This spot seems lovely. There is a big shadow area because of this uh, nice tree. Thank you, tree. Okay, 
Now let's place my phone and let's take some gorgeous drone footage. That was really fun. Uh, yeah, I think I found the perfect spot. I'm so uh, grateful for it. Uh, yeah, and I think I took some nice uh, shots, but I guess I can only see when I reach home. Uh, okay, so now to my next destination, which is a Veganya restaurant, a fully vegan restaurant at a big shopping mall. So. I should probably take a train there because it's one hour walk. Uh, usually I don't mind walking. I think it's the best way to experience experience the city and really feel its vibe. Uh, but yeah, maybe I'll walk when I finish there and go back home because I don't want to get there all sweaty. Uh, so we'll see. So they have a little water meal here. Oh my gosh, look at this lizard. I could barely spot it all because she blends so well with the ground. I'm not sure. You see right there on the... What? Wow, look at the size of it. It definitely be the one I have back in my room. Okay, I'm gonna slowly walk by so I won't scare her. And oh, she's going on the tree now. So fast. Oh, there she is. She's so observant. I wonder what did she saw there. Okay, little lizard. Well, well, not really little. You're like medium-sized lizard. Hey, bye. Well, here is some large-sized lizard right there. Here on the water bench. It looks like she's waiting for the right moment to jump. Ready, set, go, dive. Or not, like, oh, I was right. And she dive inside. I give you eight out of 10 for this dive. Okay, so this is the way to the underground train station. And from here I need to take a train to Siam and from there to a place called Pong Pong. Okay, so apparently I was wrong. Uh, what a surprise. Me and direction. Uh, so I need to take the up train, the sky train. And from there I get to Pong Pong. Oh, they have cakes here that look just like Sukhania. Perhaps I take the middle one because I already know the strawberry one. Okay, so I got my ticket and let's go. Okay, like
like how organized it is. Like everybody wait in the line and nobody pushes. So really organized. It reminds me of uh, Japan. Wow, this one seems crowded. Okay, so this is my position. This one's between train and platform. It was adorable scalp. If I were a scalp lady, I would definitely get one. Uh, but to be honest, I barely ever wear scalps. Maybe you can make it into a tablecloth. Or a picnic mat. Or a bathtub towels. The options are endless. It's so adorable. Wow, it's so pretty. I'm not even into cats, but this is pretty. Wow, look at those crazy bling bling shots. <gasps> I think I saw less flashy things on the disco ball. <laughs> Again, some really amazing mall interior design. Look how cool is that? You paddle your way to the ceiling. <laughs> the tiger has kind of psychotic look. <laughs> you have the crazy eyes. Adorable. Look, it's the bell police. And this is the artist stand there right here on the bottom floor of the small. 
At the end, I couldn't track the restaurant inside the mall, so one of the walkers guided me to the main branch restaurant, just 10 minutes walk away from there. I consider it as a lucky event, because by straying from the first plan, I managed to reach even better and more impressive restaurant than the mall stand. All of this and more you will be able to see in the next chapter of my adventure of my fourth day in Bangkok. So to be continued.